Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I posted my last video but I'm really really excited to be back and today is going to be a summer night makeup where I basically use only cream products and show you how to do a very glamorous and chic look in a very quick and effortless way. So I really hope you enjoy watching and let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna keep this very quick. I have to be ready in about 20 minutes, which left me just about enough time to um, light some candles for a pretty background. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my skincare. So because it is really hot right now, I'm not only going to use a very light moisturizer but also a nice cinnamide serum just to keep my t-zone from getting too oily and i'm just very quickly going to pat this in as long as my my skin doesn't get oily for the night my makeup won't be moving too much so that would be good then i'm using a very light moisturizer use any moisturizer you prefer i've been using this one for years now i quickly rub this in also around my eyes and down the neck and I always put the leftovers on my hands to keep them smooth. On to base. In summertime I prefer cream or gel products over powder products. So I will try to use as little powder as possible because the result will not only look more natural but it also will feel a lot lighter on the skin. And instead of like a heavy foundation I almost always use a tinted moisturizer. I'm always mixing these two because the shades are a bit off with both of these for me. So I'm going to mix them and warm the product up in my hands and then slowly start to work this into my skin. And I take a wet sponge and press the product into my skin, which will also help to make the tinted moisturizer last longer, but also just, just blend it better and more natural. I think I'm getting away without wearing any concealer today. The next thing I will use is a cream bronzer instead of a powder bronzer just to warm up my complexion and I got a little bit of a tan right now so I want my face to match my body better because I always use a very high SPF on my face. So I'm going to take quite a bit of this cream bronzer, especially in summertime. You want to put the bronzer wherever sunlight would naturally hit you, which is around the perimeters. Um, on the sides of the face, maybe a little bit on the nose, and obviously the neck. So I'm always starting from the outside, because you don't want to have a lot of product in the center of the face, and then fading it outwards, but the other way around. And as I have a very high forehead, I'm going to blend some bronzer around my forehead as well. I always put some on the chin as well and around my lips. And this looks very hard right now, but it will blend together really pretty. Then I like to take some bronzer on my eyelids, just whatever's left on the brush and inside the brush along the sides of my nose. Now I'm going to press in the bronzer with my sponge again, just to make it last longer and to avoid any streaks. I love using a cream blush in summer, but um, using a cream blush can be a little bit more tricky than applying a powder blush, but at the end result, especially if, if the finish is matte, is going to be so pretty and so natural. So you have to shake it really, really well and always start off with a tiny amount than you think, because especially the NARS blush is really pigmented. I'm gonna take just and I'm gonna have a brush ready with very dense bristles and then I'm going to add one drop around here and already start to blend this out with my fingers and then work this in with my brush and then press it in with my sponge and do the same thing on the other side. And then whatever left on the back of my hand, I'm going to use instead of a lipstick, just to give my lips some color and a bit of a stain. Now we're gonna use a little bit of powder, but not too much. I'm just going to take a regular bronzer to set the cream bronzer, on, but only on my cheeks, because this is where I'm going to wear a mask later. So I just filled in my eyebrows 
and I feel like I have to brighten this a little bit. I just filled in my eyebrows and so we're basically done with our complexion but as I will be going out tonight I want to add like a little bit of oomph to my complexion. So this is a cream highlighter, this one is by Becca and it's a little bit darker than the one I'm usually using because I have quite a bit of a tan right now. And it's this beautiful, beautiful champagne color. Let me show you. And it looks so, so incredibly nice on top of like a blush or, or a bronzer. And I'm just gonna quickly pat this in with my fingers on the top of my cheek and in the inner corner of my eyes and then drag this across the lid just to make my eyes pop a little bit more. And the rest I will put on a cupid bow. I'm quickly going to set my skin using the MAC Fix Plus. Because my skin is wet at the moment, I'm going to take this eyeshadow. This is a glitter eyeshadow and it has this very creamy consistency because it has a very strong payoff. I'm going to use the tiniest, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of the product and then very carefully work this on my top lid and be very, because I'm afraid some of the particles could fall down on my face. Using just one glitter eyeshadow will make your makeup look as if you put in a lot more effort than you actually did, especially in combination with the highlighting shade on our inner corner. I'm quickly going to define my eyes using an eye pencil, which has not only brown but also red undertones. It looks so pretty on blue eyes. And then blend this out with my fingers to make them look really sexy and smoky. Line the upper waterline as well. And then do the tiniest flick at the end. While my eyeshadow and the eyeliner has to set, I'm going to brush up my eyebrows with a brow gel. I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes to make my eyes look really open and, and dreamy. And then use loads of waterproof mascara. And then press them up slightly. I'm really, really happy the way this looks. I'm really insecure about my nose these days. So I'm going to quickly... Uh, and I'm quickly going to contour my nose with a powder, so please don't kill me. Just to slim it down the tiniest bit. That's it. And that was my almost, almost all cream summer get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Um, use just a very light. And because it is very... And it, because... <laughs>